Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Corrine and I do tarot readings here on YouTube. So for today's pick a card or rather pick a crystal reading, we are asking Spirit what is being kept hidden from you. So this can be anything like a big change coming in your life or maybe some secrets that people are keeping from you. It can even be something like a new love interest or a new career opportunity. So we are really giving Spirit free reign today to let any messages come through that you need at this time. So I have three crystals for you to choose from. So for pile number one, we have this piece of pyrite. For pile number two, we have this piece of obsidian. And then for pile number three, we have this piece of howlite. Okay, so whenever you feel ready and you feel most drawn to one of these piles or maybe to more than one pile, you can check the timestamps down below in the description box and then let's see what is currently being kept hidden from you. Hi everyone in pile number one. So you guys chose this pyrite stone. I'm just going to show it to you again. So this stone is associated with like creativity and manifestation and it is also related to your solar plexus chakra which also relates to like creativity and and things like self-expression and self-confidence so i'm just going to put your stone aside here for now i already pre-prepared some cards for you guys so let's start with those and let's see what messages are coming through in terms of what is being kept hidden from you so the first card that I have for your group is the card Opportunity. Okay. I'm first going to lay out all your cards and then we'll talk about what messages are coming through. Um, so the next card that you guys got was the, the Golden Egg. You also got the Page of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. Um, new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. Then you also got the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. And then lastly, you got the Archetype card of the Samaritan. And I'm just going to read for you guys the light attribute says, Refine your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. And the shadow attribute is exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Okay. Let's going to move these along a bit. Okay, so to start off, I think it's rather obvious. Um, there is some type of opportunity that is going to be presenting itself to you guys. So this might have to do with some type of creative endeavor um, or maybe it's like a project that you have been wanting to do for quite a while. Um, and with the moon here in this image, I think maybe your intuition have been given you, has been giving you hints about this opportunity that might be coming your way. And uh, I do think with this, it's time to take action with the new moon in Aries. You are going to have to embody a type of fiery energy when this opportunity comes along and this also relates for me to the pyrite stone so i think you have to to approach this with a lot of self-confidence and um, you know aries is the first sign it's a bit of a not like a childish energy but very lively and um, a bit playful i don't think you have to be too serious um, i think it's about like really embodying your your creative energy and almost like letting the situation flow by itself um, but Aries can be quite headstrong as well so I think you do have to stand in your power and you might have to push through when I look at this nine of swords this talks about like anxiety but often it is self-inflicted so you might be overthinking when this opportunity comes along and you might even uh, think about letting it pass because you might feel like you aren't up for the challenge but I think you really have to like push forward um, and let spirit guide you on this journey and um, 
I think even maybe if you can, um, purchasing a stern like this that can help with self-confidence and with manifestation, this, this might be quite useful to you. Even just like doing some manifestation ritual on your own, so writing down what it is that you want to manifest into your life. If you already have an idea of some type of opportunity that you would like to receive, then obviously you can incorporate this in your um, in your manifestations. So with this uh, golden egg, this really also talks about like potential, and um, I think whatever this opportunity is, it has the potential to, to be something long term and something that can uh, really maybe bring you a lot of wealth or even just a lot of happiness and um, especially if this is like some type of creative project um, maybe this is a dream that you have been wishing for for a long time and um, with the page of swords it's, this could relate to something with communication as well the the swords are about um, things like writing or technology and you see this man is standing on books so it can even be like maybe a book deal for some of you or um, anything relating to communications and you also have this this picture of the dandelion and obviously dandelions are also associated with wishes so I do think you guys have an idea of what this is about I don't think it will would come as a, a big surprise even though this is talking about what is being kept hidden from you at this moment. Um, I think this only means that you aren't expecting it at this time so it might come out of the blue and um, with this seven of pentacles you are going to have to work for it. Um, I did say you should let it flow but this doesn't mean you should just sit back. I think you will find that the more effort you put in, the more you get out as well. And this also reminds me of like the story of Adam and Eve in the garden um, with this <laughs> tree and the apple. So this might almost feel like forbidden. Maybe this is an opportunity that is a bit different from what you are currently doing in your life. And maybe you are afraid of other people's opinions. Um, I think this is also why, why you might need some self-confidence to approach this opportunity. But I do think there is a lot of abundance if you do choose to pursue, pursue this uh, because you see all of these fruits and like flowers on this tree. And um, I also think this might have to do with something that is like enlightening, enlightening to other people. So maybe in terms of communication you are going to be bringing some truth to light maybe if you are writing you would be like uh, writing about spirituality or the occult or anything like that something a bit offbeat where you are providing people with information and um, where you give other people the opportunity as well to to gain this new knowledge and um, also maybe to see their own potential so this can even be like coaching people in a way like um, or motivational speaking um, or something like that um, and when I look at the six of pentacles here so this talks about like give and take and we have this balance with these two weights this also reminds me of judgment the judgment card and um, this is a number six that might be uh, relevant for you but I feel like this situation will also be like a, a give and take so as I said, you might be providing some type of service or information to people and in return you will be receiving feedback or uh, wealth or just more opportunities in the future. So once again, like the motivational speech idea. So you might be giving talks at schools or universities or uh, functions and then since people are provided with all this information, you will be receiving more opportunities in the future. Um, and then once again with like a book deal, maybe you are a bestseller and you get another book deal and um, uh, get an advance in terms of money so you can work on this book in your free time and you don't have to like uh, work while writing or something like that. 
Um, now with the King of Pentacles, this also talks to me about like wealth and stability. So I really do see a stable future for you if you choose to pursue this path. And um, I think people will look up to you when you are in this position. You will be like a type of lead leader in society. I also associate a leadership with Aries. So um, with the new moon, um, I do think this is like a very new path for you. But um, I see great success if you choose to pursue this. And then with this Samaritan card, I think this opportunity is something that is going to ask of you to be selfless or giving in some way. Like I said, um, this could be an exchange of information. Um, I don't think this means you should be without boundaries or just like providing all the time without receiving anything back. I just think that you should go into this opportunity not with the idea uh, of receiving wealth or like great recognition. You should just do it for the love of of uh, providing people with something. And because you are doing this um, from your heart and not like a materialistic perspective, uh, that's why you will be receiving this abundance. I do also think this might relate to something like charity work even for some of you. Um, because the Samaritan is someone who helps people in need. So maybe you have the opportunity to help with a non-profit or maybe to donate some money if you are in a position to do so. It can also mean that you will be receiving help from other people in this opportunity. Maybe if you are feeling anxious, you are overthinking and um, you're feeling a bit lost, then someone will be there to hold your hand like these two girls in this picture. And um, this golden egg is also quite a spiritual card. So as I mentioned earlier, this could be some type of spiritual pursuit, maybe even like tarot reading on YouTube that is also like providing information for people um, and helping them, guiding them in their life. Um, so... Just again, with all of these pentacles, I really do see this as an opportunity to create a stable future for yourself. Um, but you will have to push through and really perse persevere. Um, because with the egg as well, this is all about potential. This isn't something that is already brought to fruition. So, so you will be having to put in energy and effort to create the stable future for yourself. Okay, so lastly, I'm just going to get some tarot cards just for some further clarification about what this is about so spirit for part number one can we get some more information about what is this hidden truth this opportunity that is coming their way okay so the eight of pentacles and the seven of swords let's get one more and the Queen of Swords. And back of the deck is the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, again, we have this Pentacles. So this is about like mastery. So I do think once you get the hang of whatever this is, this opportunity, you are really going to be putting in time and effort to master your craft. So if it's writing, maybe getting up early every morning, putting in one or two hours to really work on your craft. And um, if it's tarot reading, it might be recording weekly videos or even daily videos as practice. And with the Seven of Swords, um, this is like a sneaky energy. It might be that you are keeping this opportunity secret from other people. So you are like working in silence behind the scenes on this. Um, before you put it out in the open and before you bring it into the world. It can also mean that you want to like perfect this before you showcase it to other people. And with this Queen of Swords, again, I get really strong like communication energy or something that, that uses your intellect. And I think words is important in whatever opportunity this is. So... As I said, speaking, writing, tarot reading, anything where 
you are exchanging information. This can even be talking about something like designing an app for phones or computers. Um, and I do think you would need strong boundaries when you are in this situation because uh, this opportunity and this endeavor might come with a lot of critique from other people and you will have to stand strong in your own power and have confidence in yourself and in your ideas. Um, and now with this page of wands in reverse, I do think once again, you are a bit skeptic to follow this pursuit. This can even talk a bit about like a recklessness. So this can go either way. Either, either you are like recklessly pursuing this and maybe a bit in over your head because you're trying to do this too quickly. And that's where this Eight of Pentacles comes in because you really have to have patience and sit down and perfect your craft. Or it can mean that you are too scared to pursue this and therefore missing out on this opportunity as a whole. I think the overall like advice for you guys is just to have confidence in yourself. Don't rush into anything that is coming your way, any opportunities. Think it through, but look at all of the pros and cons. And if you see that this is something that holds a lot of potential for you with this golden egg and where you can provide people with a service and um, you're really doing something that is in line with your values, then I would say go for it. But if you feel like this will be infringing on your boundaries and your personal values and maybe you cannot handle the this like secret aspect of it then obviously you can reconsider and maybe a new opportunity or a better opportunity will present itself in the future but okay group number one that is what i see for you guys so that is one what is currently being kept hidden from you uh, i'm very excited for you guys this seems like a great opportunity whatever it is and if you want to let me know if this is like resonating if some of you are planning on writing a book or starting a new business um, whatever this opportunity is you can let me know in the comments down below and then i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you soon and uh, talk to you guys in a future video bye hi everyone in pile number two so you guys chose this obsidian stone i'm just going to show it to you again so this stone is all about like protection and protecting your energy I like to carry around it around with me when I'm like going to shopping centers or uh, just out where I'm surrounded by a lot of people because I do have a tendency to like feel other people's energy. So maybe some of you guys identify as empaths or something like that or just highly sensitive and maybe this type of stone can provide you of some protection from other people's energy uh, but anyway so today we are asking what is being kept hidden from you so this can be anything this can be like an opportunity it can be a love interest it can be um, a secret admirer anything like that so i already pre-prepared some cards for you guys so let's see what wants to come through i'm first going to lay out all of your cards and then i'll talk about what i'm seeing for you so the first card for you guys is the card gateway and we have this unicorn here so first off before i lay out all the other cards i do think you are a very unique group of people with this unicorn and maybe like a bit ethereal or mystical um so your next card is don't let your past hold you back self node uh, for those of you who don't know your north node is like uh, what you're moving towards in this life in terms of astrology so for example if it's in cancer minus is in cancer then um, it talks about like a more emotional approach to life whereas my south node is in capricorn so that is like very logical orderly business-like um, okay so this can talk about like something that you are moving towards with gateway as well but I first of all <laughs> want to lay out all your cards. Then you have the sun. You also have the chariot. This is number 14. Sorry, 
19 and number 7 so that might be significant for you this also breaks down to a 1 um, you also have the B card uh, you have the Virgin you have child wounded and then you have these little cards you have the devil the five of pentacles and the page of wands okay you are going to be moving into a new phase of your life so with this gateway and the south node i feel like there's some type of karmic cycle in your life that you will be ending um, maybe this is some place or some situation where you didn't feel safe. It's interesting that I said place. So it might be that you're moving and you're moving out of a situation, um, geographically speaking, where you have felt like you needed to protect your energy. You might have been surrounded by people who were very negative and who fed off of your energy, um, especially if you are like maybe more spiritual or just like unique in terms of uh, how you approach the world. And I do think that this has been holding you back in terms of your happiness. The Sun card really speaks about joy and um, celebration and, um, you know, all this light. So we have lights rays here as well, sun rays. Uh, so I do think you guys are moving forward into a new phase of your life where uh, you will be much happier and with the chariot um, I do think you're already making moves towards this with the snail it can talk about something that is like a long time coming so maybe you have been planning and planning to make a change in your life but um, it hasn't been possible up until now so I think this might be some type of unexpected turn of events that gives you the opportunity to move out of this negative energy or this negative situation. Now with the B, this is air energy. So maybe there is going to be some type of conversation where you are presented with new information about the people in your life, which gives you like that extra shelf you need to free yourself from the situation. Um, but the bee is also like a very hard worker and it's all about community. So it might be that you are getting support, support from people in your community to get you out of the situation. It can also be speaking about like a negative work environment. So maybe you have been really giving too much of yourself and this has been very draining on your energy. It can be very uh, bad to work in an environment environment where your co-workers aren't supportive or there's a lot of gossip in the workplace. So this might have been affecting you. With this yellow color here as well and the green, I think about like the heart chakra and the solar plexus chakra. So maybe you I've been feeling a very emotional or lacking self-confidence in this situation. Um, and this is even more of a reason why sh you should be changing your environment. Now with the Virgin here, it says with the light attribute, maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. And the shadow attribute is fear of intimate union. I feel like this union is almost with yourself. I think you are scared of changing your situation because you only know yourself within this environment, um, but your true self is waiting for you when you go through this gateway. I feel like that's when you will really blossom once you can take yourself out of this situation. And I do think you are very pure, pure at heart as a person. As I said with this unicorn image, I think you are very unique. And um, that's why you were maybe easy to manipulate or easy to feed energy off of um, and with the child wounded this this might be something that has come from your childhood years so it says here of the light attributes awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children opens the learning path of forgiveness and the shadow attributes are blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds 
resists moving on through forgiveness. So this can even talk about like tendencies that were created during your childhood. So maybe you grew up in a dysfunctional family where you had to be like the emotional support child or maybe you had to provide for your family because there wasn't enough um, your parents could do. Um, it can even just talk about like someone disrespecting your boundaries or uh, some type of emotional abuse. And I feel like this has left you with a few coping mechanisms such, such as people pleasing, for example, or uh, just not living your authentic life. Um, and I do think once you start to embrace your true self, you will see how unique you are. Because right now, I don't think you are seeing yourself in that light. Um, I think you're just like in survival mode and trying to just get through the day, you know. Um, and with this devil energy, this is like a very, it can be very toxic or obsessive. But you know, these two people, yeah, they aren't actually bound. It only looks that way. So I think you see yourself as being bound up in this situation. But in reality, there's a great opportunity to free yourself from this. But I do think you will be the one that has to take responsibility for freeing yourself. Because with this um, child wounded, I think there are some people that you have to forgive. Not because they deserve it per se, but for your own peace of mind. I think you might be holding on to resentment for people. And this is really holding yourself back. Um, because you are wasting energy focusing on what other people has or have done to you. Um, and not focusing on your own future. So that's why you are holding on to the past. And not focusing on moving through this gateway to the future where your happiness lies um with this five of pentacles this can talk about like being left out in the cold so i think once again you feel like you have been wronged by people and that now you have to cope with the consequences but this can also talk about like an, an awakening so it might be that there's a new spiritual awakening coming for you guys spiritual awakenings aren't like a once off thing you constantly have to renew yourself and face your shadow um, and once you have healed one thing there's also always another thing that comes to light and that you have to heal in yourself with this page of wands as well this is like pages are messengers but they're also like i see them as beginners as well so it might feel uncomfortable um and it might use a lot of your energy to to get yourself out of the situation but i do see you being in a much better place once you choose to move through this gateway i just want to get some clarification with tarot just to make sure that we know exactly what this is about but just to sum it up as for now um, there's some type of situation in your life that you will be re removing yourself from, that you felt you won't be getting out of. So Spirit, for group number two, any additional messages on what is being kept hidden from them? Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups. Okay, this is good. Let's get one or two more. Okay, Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, and the back of the deck is the Hermit in reverse, yes. Okay, so I'm going to start with this Hermit. I feel like you guys have been in a type of rest period or retreat period where you have been isolating yourself from the world because you have been trying to protect the little energy that you have left. Now with this Three of Pentacles, when it's in the upright position, it talks about collaboration. And partnerships and if I use the example of the workplace again I don't think there was an equal give and take I think there was a negative environment any type of partnership in your life really so even family um, relations I think 
you might have been the one giving all the time. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is about changes, so I do see your destiny changing. I see this gateway approaching you pretty quickly. And um, once you go through this, then you have this Ten of Cups, which talks all about like emotional abundance. It's almost excess. It's like the perfect family idea. You don't have to feel helpless in your situation. There really is a big opportunity coming your way here to have emotional fulfillment in your life. And this can even talk about like maybe starting a family with someone. Especially if you grew up in like a dysfunctional family, maybe you want to provide a stable home for, for your children one day. Um, and I do think this is something that is uh, viable for you in the foreseeable future. Um, but you have to be the one that chooses to come out of this hermit mode. Um, Virgo energy might be significant for you guys and Leo with the sun. Um, even Capricorn with the devil. Um, but I really feel like you guys have to be a light for yourself of the star that this this hermit has. Um, you have to like look towards the sun, towards this, this light that is in your future and um, use that as your compass uh, on the path forward. Uh, because it's easy to get caught up um, in negative feelings with this five of pentacles as well if you keep on thinking in terms of a victim mindset like why did this happen to me then you won't ever be able to move past that energy so you might even benefit from some type of cord cutting you can google that if you aren't um, familiar with the term it's basically just like breaking energy bonds with people so maybe uh, due to holding on to your past, you have been creating a very strong energy bond with someone and therefore you are unable to move forward. Um, this can even be like a past relationship where you felt that you were constantly giving and they were only feeding off of your energy. So pile number two, that is what I see for you guys. That is what being That is what is being kept hidden from you guys. I really do hope you guys make use of this opportunity, this gateway that is presenting itself for you. Because you might not realize that you are in a sage situation where you can change your current circumstances. And I think Spirit is really trying to bring that to your attention. That you have to put in the energy right now if you wish to change your life and if you wish to move towards this emotional fulfillment and this abundance that is possible for you so you have to stand on your power and you have to really push forward and break ties with anyone that is holding you guys back okay group number two so that is what i see for you guys i really hope this resonated if it did you can let me know in the comments down below and then i really hope to see you guys in a future video i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you soon Bye. Hi everyone in group number three. So you guys chose this Howlite stone. Um, this is about like protection. Um, and I also associate it with like purity since it's white. <laughs> um, but that's just me. So I'm going to put your stone aside here. So for you guys, I already pre-prepared some cards. So we're going to see what that is. And once I lay them all out, we are going to check and see what it is that spirit wants to tell you about what is being kept hidden from you guys your cards are love first of all so that's pretty obvious and uh, then you also have new moon in gemini communication is key and obviously gemini is also related to the lovers card and the tarot so i feel like this is relating to some type of love um now you guys also have the prince archetype with the light attribute romantic charm and potential for power and the shadow attribute of using power for self-aggrandizement. I don't know if I am pronouncing that correctly. I apologize. English is not my first language. <laughs> um, then you guys also have the ten of wands. You have the fool. You have the peacock, then you have the nine of pentacles, the three of pentacles, 
and the two of cups to end your reading. Okay. So, <laughs> this is definitely speaking to me about like some type of love in your life. This can be a secret admirer or it can be someone that you have been uh, keeping an eye on in your life. And I think it might have been that there was some unsaid messages between the two of you. So this could be someone from the past that maybe things should have gotten off the ground but it didn't and that's why we have this communication is key it doesn't have to, have to be someone from the past it can even be someone totally new but i do think there's going to be some type of conversation where feelings are brought to light so with this highlight stone i i almost think of like innocence and purity so i do feel a very innocent energy surrounding this love situation so that's why i say, I say it might have been someone that you felt feelings for, but it was left unsaid. And that's why it's still like innocent in nature. You haven't pursued this love interest. Now with the prince here, um, I do think there will be a lot of like flirting between the two of you. Very um, romantic, um, maybe a lot of dates. Maybe they are like someone who likes to give gifts. And with the Gemini as well, um, it can talk about like a uh, witty conversation, maybe making a lot of jokes with each other, each other and um, bouncing off of each other's energy. I do think the person that is coming into your life or coming back into your life is very charming. They might be conventionally attractive might even have like Taurus placements because that is like ruled by Venus. Um, Libra is also ruled by Venus. So maybe that is significant in the birth chart. Uh, I do think they are going to want to spoil you. Um, we have flowers here and here as well and in the Ten of Wands. And with the peacock, it might be that they are a bit showy, <laughs> but I do think you will like that. And um, they might even want to show you off to the world. Now with the Ten of Wands, this can talk about some type of burden, but it talks about closing off a cycle. So I do think maybe there is some residual energy in your energy field with someone else, maybe ex-lovers or something like that, where you are closing out the cycle. Um, it can even be talking about forgiving this person if it was someone from the past, if they maybe left you out in the cold for a while. Um, and I think once you have a conversation, it might be more clear why they did that to you. Um, but otherwise, it can just be like focusing on this one person instead of um, pursuing different opportunities. And I do think you will be a bit scared to approach this situation. And that's why we have the full year as well. It, it's a really like a new beginning and you might have to jump in and almost be a bit reckless. And I do think that maybe you are scared that being in a relationship will be a burden on you as well. Um, especially since these flowers are so alike. So I think like love almost feels like a burden to you or it felt that way in the past. And when you are now approached with this new situation or this person, it, it almost makes you feel uncomfortable. You aren't sure how to handle this energy that is coming your way. And that might also be why with this how light you feel like you need protection. You almost want to shield yourself from something that is good, uh, which is ironic, but relatable. Um, so you might have like an avoidant attachment. Uh, if you want to look into attachment theory, like the way you approach relationships. But there's a lot of flowery imagery. So I do think this is a very like romantic energy that is coming your way. And uh, it's really going to blossom into something beautiful. And with this nine of pentacles, this really talks about abundance. And I think this person also sees you as like this, this abundant person. And that's why they might want to show you off. It 
could be that they had some type of insecurity in the past, almost feeling like they didn't measure up to you. And that might have been why they didn't approach you then. And that's why communication is now coming in because they, they might have realized that they cannot let go of these feelings and um, that it's worth this risk to come towards you instead of keeping this to themselves. This, this Ten of Wands can even talk about the burden of keeping your feelings hidden. And that's why this communication is so important and at the center of your reading. And this is also New Moon. So with the full year, this is really about a fresh start, um, a new approach, really, really new energy, something that you haven't experienced before. And with this Three of Pentacles, this talks about like collaboration, uh, working together. And I do think you will both be invested in this relationship and you will be willing to put in effort from both sides to make this work. Um, it can also talk about like meeting in the workplace. So maybe you met this person while you were working together and circumstances didn't allow you to be together. Or this can mean that you will be meeting someone in the workplace. It can even talk about like currently someone in your workplace has a crush on you uh, maybe you are aware of that maybe not but feelings will be revealed in the future and with this two of cups this is soulmate energy so i think whoever this person is um, you might already have some type of soul recognition of who this is i'm talking about but this really has the the, the potential to be a very loving um, relationship. As I said with all of these flowers I really get a very romantic feeling. I do think it's quite like a, a, a sensual energy. Once again with like Taurus um, I think both of you will really want to spoil the, uh, spoil the other person and um, really make them feel like a king or a queen uh, or any non-binary <laughs> royal. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to be getting some tarot cards just for extra clarification but it's pretty obvious what this is about and i'm really happy for you guys because this seems very exciting and it seems like a very very nice uh, very abundant relationship that is coming your way okay so spirit for group number three can we get some clarification about this relationship maybe who this person is or or how this whole communication will be taking place so what type of conversation it will be wheel of fortune in reverse i'm really getting like past not past lover but like past love interest energy because the wheel of fortune in reverse can talk about like delays or um like destiny but there wasn't enough movement um Maybe some of you guys don't want to hear that it's someone from the past. I'm sorry if, if that is the case. Oops. I'm sorry. Just going to put that back. Fell to the ground. Okay. What's this? Queen of Cups. Okay. So it might be that you're already emotionally invested. As I said, if this is someone that you already know or you already have a feeling, you might have already developed feelings even though this conversation hasn't taken place chariot okay so this is coming in quick i hope you guys are ready <laughs> um i think you might have thought that this delay is going to be a lot longer but this is going to be unexpected this is gonna catch you by surprise and this is spirit just saying like get ready because this might be sooner than you expected let's get one more Page of Wands. Okay, there's that fiery, flirty energy again. I really see like a lot of banter between you guys. And there's the Page of Cups. <laughs> so this is definitely like a very loving relationship. I think you will both adore each other. And if this was a case where feelings weren't expressed in the past, I really feel like you're going to be trying to make up for lost time. Really spoiling each other and just with like words of affirmation and um, just reassuring each other all the time uh, what you both mean to each other and um, I do see this as a very emotional relationship definitely not like surface level I think you are going to be talking about your emotions a lot and 
especially about what happened in the past as well, to ensure that communication channels stays open in the future so that there won't be a situation where one of you feels left out. And um, with this page of wands, um, I really feel like this will be some type of fiery conversation. So it might come very unexpected, like I said, and very quick. Um, it might be like a out of the blue call one evening or whatever. And you just talk about everything that has happened and really express feelings from both sides. And um, once you do, I see you pretty quickly moving into a relationship because I think feelings are already established. Um, and this is just like the cherry on the cake to seal the deal <laughs> and to move into this relationship, this two of cups, this soulmate relationship. And I see a lot of happiness. I see a lot of abundance and, um, yeah, it's just a lot of emotional fulfillment for both of you. And, uh, I'm really happy for you guys. I really hope that, um, you will be receiving all the love that you deserve and um, I hope this person will cherish you and if this resonated you guys can let me know in the comments down below um, if this happens very quickly and you remember you can um, let me know and then I hope you guys have a lovely day I really wish you guys all of the best and I hope to see you guys soon in a future video bye